How everybody has made this big deal about Kyrie and you know his beliefs and uh, him missing games and just like we all do, he got his shit. Yeah. And a lot of people are now saying that is what's going to cost y'all ultimately of reaching where y'all want to reach. What do you make of that? I mean, I just think people don't like Kyrie because he wanted to leave Cleveland and he wanted to leave Boston. I don't think it's any deeper than that. He doesn't harm anyone. He hasn't said anything that's disrespectful to anybody. His game is beautiful to watch. I just think people don't like the decisions on what he chooses to play. Um, and they, they sort of amplify everything because everybody in this league has their shit. They mm -hmm. may say something over a course of six months that may, everybody may not agree with. That's just the nature of our, our business. You know, when you're that good at what you do, everything is a little amplified. And sometimes it's a little extra. You know, so what Kyrie does, especially in our building, nobody is making a big deal out of it. Just like a lot of shit we did in our building, we didn't give a shit if Clay missed practice. Like, <laughs> <Don't we didn't>, <laughs> <laughs> who can, like, as long as you're there for the games, as long as you, you know, you healthy enough to play, like, we didn't give a shit. Like, when you, when you and Coach cursed each other out, literally, as <laughs> soon as the practice was over, it was cool. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, so it was like, everybody's mature enough to understand, like, we come to work, we handle our business, and you be who you are.